Okay, so let's continue this tour on how to migrate from OpenFone 10, 9 to OpenFone 11. So we, are ha we have a address of your cases. So we'll address the first case. We're very familiar with this one. Okay, quite easy case with them. We continue and we move to the cylinder case with the uh, a few variants, no turbulence, supersonic and so on. So I, ho I hope at this point you have realized that the immigration is not that difficult. Okay. It consists only understanding the new modular solvers. Okay. And the new command phone run and phone post processing. Okay. So at this point, let's move to a new case. So we address single phase. Now let's move to multi-phase BOF cases, the most simple of the cases. Okay, probably you're already familiar. And just let me <coughs> bring back here, uh, open from modular solvers. Okay, to have this one. So we're going to move to a new physics. And as I say, I really, really like this, this diagram. So basically we want to do BOF. And let's see, previously it was Interphone and many of those variants of, of Inter, whatever. So see that we have BOF, okay? And we need to use here this color node in fluid solver class. Okay, so we're going to do an incompressible case. So we already identified that. So we have incompressible multiphase, which is for dispersed flows. So remember that multiphase flows have several uh, classifications. Okay, this is something that we cover in another training. So uh, we have the multiphase dispersed and then the separated the one that we're interested in, incompressible BOF. Okay, so now that we have identified our solver class, if we come to the solver, to the case, we have it here. So we just need to update that one and then as you might guess, there are a few things that have changed in keywords and so on. Nothing critical, okay? Just let me tell you that there is nothing critical here. So in zero folder bundle conditions, nothing new. We go into constants, okay? So in constants, also nothing new, but probably you're not familiar with this, is you recall previous version, the data structure was different and it was transport properties, as I will recall, and you define everything here. It starting from open from 10, you have now this classification so remember that now is physical properties and then you have one physical property for air and for water honestly i will say that probably would be better to have for all cases and physics a single physical properties and then you define everything inside that but that is my opinion let's see what the developers say and then face properties here you define you know, the model so in this case a simple one we have to face this water air and the and then we have the, the, the sigma surface tension. Notice also that we don't have units. You recall previous one that we have the, the bracket with units. Now here is not necessarily anymore. So I think in the next tutorial we have the common turbulence model, gravity, and these are models. This is a very important one. So we're using turbulence model and this is too damp. Okay, sometimes multi-phase software of this problem that you can have over production the turbulent kinetic energy in the interface so you can use that so now we say okay but what is that model doing if we model so remember that we have the okay of 11 and we have phone to see the table of contents and we can look for that so let's see what is this so probably i'm using the wrong one okay so dumping Okay, it's not the, I need to go table. Okay, wah, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Okay, table. Ah, uh, phone to see table. And then I go BOF, um, turbulence damping. Okay, I don't have that one, but as I say, I was using the the wrong one here. I need to use phone info. Okay. So. Okay, it's still my computer is temperamental today. Phone info and BOF. And there you go. With phone info. Okay, give you two options that we get. And this is what is happening, okay? And it is for phone to see 
Okay, you can go for tables and you're going to have this one and then you do need to identify now where do you where you might have this this is a model so we can look for the FB model. Okay, so we can go table FB model so maybe it would appear here. So BOF volume fraction source, you have it there, so you can now you can go uh okay, uh, you can look for this one or phone info let's see if this one shows something else yeah i suspect it should be funny info well, you get the, the idea okay so this is very important also this is the subject of uh, another training and then insisting okay nothing new to do, to do here so all the dictionaries are the same the only difference here is that we have this and here we just added phone run and remember that if we identify our solver class and you have it there then the rest we already have updated this minimum and maximum we know how to do it there is a keyword no this select that is a new new one then also here for this function object saying select here and then for probes online so i'm doing sampling in some points i have it there okay so as you see very straightforward okay it's not very painful in this case and just to mention also that to run this one and run and then also we can do this same post processing i call it probes online and then we can do it also offline or a posteriori when you have the solution and you can run like this so probably here's where things get complicated now so remember phone post process function pros one and i want to do it just in the latest latest time so see that here i give pros one this name there so basically it's going to look for this dictionary Okay, or you can do it in the more complete way that it will be this, but this one you use, you know, you call the solver, okay, when you need to access some models, okay, some libraries and so on. But these are things that I think probably would be better, in my opinion, okay, it would be better like this, that you use this one, I have it here, no, this is, doesn't work, but in my opinion, this will make more sense to me, okay, but... Okay, this is how the developer think. So you have four post process, you call your molar solvers, then probes, the function object is called probes, okay? It's not called probes one. And this, this can create free confusion. If you put this one, automatically it will look for, pro, for this dictionary here. But the actual function object is this, and then when you call this one, for me it will make more sense, and I'll call a dictionary with this name. This doesn't work, okay, it works in this way, but just to mention that since can get a little bit complicated and I know some people get confused for this one. So when you put this one, this will just call, will read a dictionary and inside this dictionary, you have the whole definition or you're using, and look at that, this redundancy, you know, that then you have the probes again there, the lit sampling and you define everything. Okay, so this pretty much is a standard. We can run the case. And at this point now we're going to get our solution we're done no? so the physics of the problem is this one know that we have gravity is important here now that we have bof gravity is a driven force so we solve now we are stocks we put our troubling models on and at the end of the day we get this solution and to this really fast also here i show a little bit post-processing that you can have no centered values or search centered values so this is your active solution this is the smooth solution so let's run this case but at this point we're done so you can skip to the next video that is still is the dumb break but it will be 3d so you can skip to the next one we, you know already the modifications okay but let me, if you want to stay here let me go here and run this one it is a quite fast and say that we are all the information post processing minimum maximum values the concentration of water in the domain it's very important that the method is conservative so i like to put this one when i working with bof and if i don't have no something going out of the domain that integral should should, should, should conserve in the in the domain okay so if i go new plot and just to show you so that water in domain and I go want to plot this. So see that this is what we have. Okay. So this is what happens. Okay. This is the, the concentration you now water concentration, the integral will be the volume and see that it's changing in time, but we don't have outlets there. So recall that this is our solution, what is happening. So everything remains inside. Okay. Probably something a little bit goes out there. 
okay see that but it's not that much but this is telling you that there is a problem in, in the mesh or not a problem the mesh is too too coarse so you are losing some quality some information in the solution so if you make a, a way much finer mesh probably you are not going to have this problem here okay probably this is physically you have it there but this one here no so that is losing some information due, due, due to the fact that you have no this truncation errors the this quartz mesh uh, okay so now you can go by the phone and you can visualize the case in the standard way okay so this is just a transition no, it's not a, a tutorial from a scratch so you put alpha water that represents now the the concentration and then you play and that's all so where you have one you have 100 percent water where you have zero you have the zero water or the other phase which is air and then 0 0.5 represents the represents the interface so we have this initial condition we're using sex fields by the way okay and just to compare so this is your no value interpolated solution and this is your actual solution or the finite volume method you have a uniform value in, in each cell so that is the something that we cover in another course so i think with this we're done okay we move to the next tutorial that will be pretty much the same physics but it's uh, 3d where we have validation data now so this case is kind of a mickey mouse case with no validation data but actually i think there is some validation data around but in any case let's move to the next case 3d which where i will also introduce you some modifications with a snappy x mesh okay so so far we we have used block mesh which is always the same now with snappy x mesh there is a, a small modification so thank you for your attention see you in the next video bye